Good evening. I'm Cynthia Smoot in for Kelly Ring. And I'm John Wilson. Thank you for being with us. We begin tonight with a warning about some new designer drugs that can cause human beings to act more like animals. They are homeless, high on bath salts, and a serious threat to public safety. First, there was the famous face-eating attack by the man dubbed the Miami Zombie. One of the most bloodiest and goriest scenes I've, I've ever been to. And now, a South Florida homeless man is under arrest for trying to bite off the hand of a police officer. And the cops say he was clearly high on something and even growled like a rabid dog. That man was under the influence of something called Cloud Nine. It's very similar to the one believed to have caused the cannibal attack in Miami two weeks ago. Fox 13 Steph DP Trantonio has been looking into this stuff. All right, Steph, you know, we've, we've gone from LSD and heroin and marijuana and, and, another, and other kinds of uh, things here. But what, what is bath salt? Well, John, this stuff's been around Tampa roughly for the last two years. Cloud nine is what dealers are calling the current incarnation, but we also know it as spice and K2. The packaging is cute and colorful, but these new attacks show how very dangerous it is. With catchy names like Scooby Snacks and cartoons with smiley faces, your teens are the primary targets of synthetic drugs like K2, Spice, and Cloud9. This one's called Cloud9, but they change names all the time. Dr. Cynthia Lewis Younger with Poison Control says what's in them is anybody's guess. But it calls it an herbal smoke blend, but then it's supposed to be not for human consumption. Well, smoking is a form of human consumption. It's a cat and mouse game. As fast as a governor signs into law these uh, new chemicals that we've identified, these backroom chemists simply change the formula and it eliminates them from within the statute. Larry McKinnon with the Hillsborough Sheriff's Office says these synthetic drugs keep turning up in crimes. Like the homeless man who was recently cannibalized by a stranger in Miami. Police say his face was mangled by a man high on bath salts. Mr. De Leon? Yes, Your Honor. Then there's this man, Brandon De Leon, who police say tried to bite off a North Miami Beach police officer's hand while being booked. Police say in the holding cell, he also banged his head on the bars and acted like a rabid dog. Detectives say he was high on cloud nine. De Leon's defense? I have no recollection of anything that happened that night. You may be thinking you're getting one thing and you're actually getting the other. And those particular compounds have some very significant psychiatric effects. So until the new laws can catch up with the new chemical configurations, stopping synthetic producers is tough. Until the chemical is included in that specific statute, there's nothing we can do about it. And they know this, this type of product is killing our kids. Now, one of the real unknown dangers with any of these drugs is the potential for permanent brain damage that could go undetected for no one knows how long, then show up in the form of a dangerous psychotic episode years later, Cynthia. So disturbing. Thank you so much, Steph.